Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's supposed to be the first hike in more than three decades, but the Guam Regional Transit Authority might have to wait a little longer to move forward. During a meeting Wednesday, GRTA Executive Manager Rick Augustine says he was not prepared to advise the board to decide on the increase just yet. Do we need to have uh, the other uh, human resource agency that helps people uh, that needs financial assistance? Do we need to do that? Do we need to uh, form a, uh, a focus group in a uh, advisory committee form to focus only on the bus fare? Uh, those are the things that we need to discuss. A trio of hearings held last month only attracted 36 people, a majority of whom, Augustine says, did not have that much of a pushback to the proposal. Apparently, that wasn't enough, as board member Andrew Tidinko, who was also a writer on the mass transit, felt creating an advisory group was the better direction. We're working on this topic now. Before we make any irrational decisions, or, this is the time to work on it. We waited this long already. So I think we should do it right, you know, okay. and hear the people. That's what we need to do is hear the people. Hear our, hear our writers. As for plans for a gradual increase, Board Secretary Ginger Porter says it may be confusing for writers. I know that people have asked for it to come in gradually, but um, operationally and where we are, where we're at now, I'm not sure that having steps of increments is the best idea. GRTA proposed the first increase in 36 years due to budgetary cuts. And while bus fares have never gone up, bus service operations, including facilities, have done nothing but increase. The board eventually passed a motion to create this temporary advisory group of nine people to include mass transit riders for the sole reason of planning the fare structure. They'll decide on options and present it back to the board in 60 days. The proposal comes just as GRTA recently awarded the long-term bus service contract to Kloppenberg Enterprises, Inc. earlier this month. The contract award means GRTA's new buses and vans will soon begin to be used after months of being purchased. Augustine tells KUAM they are in the transition period of infusing the new vehicles on the roads. And while the transition just started last weekend, one of the 11 new buses has already been damaged and is down following an accident this week. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.